This is CBS News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening, welcome to this special edition of CBS. Let us begin with a quote. In every age it has been the tyrant, the oppressor, and the exploiter who has wrapped himself in the cloak of patriotism or religion or both to deceive and overawe the people. A quote said by American socialist Eugene Victor Debs. We have received reports of a new government reunifying. post taboritsky Russia that proclaim themselves the kingdom of the Rurikids. It was founded as a successor state to Kemerovo, an absolute monarchy mixed with some socialist ideals. Its leader, Boris I, who is in reality Boris Krylov, has a backstory of rather sadness and bravery. Fourteen years ago, Kemerovo was independent and free from the influence of malicious behavior of other warlords. By the time Taboritsky passed, Rurik II, a.k.a. his father, was dead and his siblings were missing. Although he did not want to rule, he wanted to protect his people. And an interesting combination of absolute monarchism and socialism. It was all part of mad gambit to reunify Russia, proclaiming them successors to Rurik of the Kievan Rus. But however, the people are entranced, as people believe it's real. So they rally behind Boris and his forces. The United States government announced today their full support to the new nation, promising them humanitarian aid and assistance in rebuilding the country. Britain's government also supports Boris's new government. Good night, America, and stay tuned for more. Newspapers will be available on November 23rd. This is Walter Cronkite signing off.